Okay, good evening, everyone. Good to see everyone here. Um, I don't know anyone, if anyone watching this Facebook Live, you are watching this Facebook Live, please comment on the Facebook Live. Okay, if you are you are there, please comment so that I can I know you're there. Hey, hi Archipus. Good to see you here. Hi, we good. Okay, we wait for 40 seconds and then we will start. To, today is the day one of our 21 days trading challenge. Okay. Uh frankly, you asked me, am I confident to Finish the 21 days. I am not too sure. Okay. And I'm also thinking whether should I do it on Saturday and Sunday or not. Okay. Uh, but let's see how it goes. Okay. Uh, it's both a challenge for you and a challenge for me also. Because on top of all the this 21 day, day challenge, I still have my SMT class to teach. I still have interview tomorrow. I'm still interviewing Larry Hyde. Uh, and then I also have a few other interview lined up also. Okay, but anyway, let's see how it goes. Um, first thing first, I want to appreciate every, every one of you all here. Um, Priscilla, Gary, Sheldon, quite a lot of SMT graduates, okay, which is good. Okay, so um, the objective of this training is really to um, help you all to up your basics okay at least your basics of trading is there and uh during this season where where you are uh, if you are free you can go through all these webinars and hopefully it's useful for you okay some of this may not be very advanced okay if you are uh are really very advanced this may not be suitable for you some of this uh may be basic but i believe uh, basics are the most important okay and I believe also that if you master the basics you will do much better in your trading the objective of the teaching you candlesticks is because uh, a lot of people know about like indicators and things like that but if you go dive into candlesticks candlestick can reveal uh, what's happening uh, for that day okay how uh, price uh, is moving for that period or for that day okay and it gives you a microscope view it gives you a zoom in view of what's happening to the chart on that day a lot of people uh, do not know how the price movement uh, what's the price action for that day and they may enter uh, too early or maybe may enter too late okay so a candlestick is like a zoom in view it's like a microscope into the chart to tell exactly when to get in and uh, so they get a more accurate entry and stop loss, okay? Uh, some people, they cannot enter at the correct price. They enter either too early or they stop loss too late, and then it will cause a lot of pain or you can lose money also, okay? Um, I've learned candlesticks more than I, I don't know how long, maybe 20 over years. I remember the first time I learned candlesticks is like uh, more than 20 over years ago, uh, when they still have this bucket shop, okay, where they teach you uh, to trade um, commodities, but basically it's a bucket shop. And uh, there was, when I, mean, I was like 20, I think my, maybe in my, even before I went to army, okay. Um, yeah, okay, so this is an introduction. Um, and I believe also that if you learn uh, candlesticks, you are able to uh, know the, how the price move better okay the reason why i do this is frankly just value add okay i just had this idea this morning hey let's do this 21 day challenge since we are all at home right let's make our our life more useful okay so okay let's get started i think majority are smt graduates which is great okay so that you all can um you all know what's happening Okay, so some of these may be basic, but let's go through them. Okay, so in candlestick pattern, in candlestick pattern, there are two types of candlesticks. We have what we call the hollow candlesticks and we have the solid candlesticks. So in the hollow candlesticks, which is uh, here, sorry, which is here, um,
Give me a second, huh? Okay. Okay, in hollow candlesticks, which is like this, your your entry price will be your your sorry, your open price will be below, okay, and your close price will be on top. Okay, this is called a bullish candlesticks. And then on the other hand, we have uh, bearish candlesticks. Bearish candlesticks, the idea is that the open is on top, the close is uh, below over here, okay? So um, the thin line over here represents, or they call the tail or the shadow, represent the high price and the low price. So the high price and the low price of the candle, okay? I think this is just uh, basic. Most of y'all should know this, yes or no, okay? Oh yeah, forgot. Okay, whatever I share with you all is for education purpose. It's not advised to uh, buy or sell. Okay, is that okay with you all? If you all are okay, please type yes. I forgot this. Okay, I think it's important that we do this. If you agree, please type yes. Oh, where's my disclaimer? And this label also okay. If you agree, agree, please type in the comment yes because I don't want to get into trouble. Even I do extra work, uh, later get into trouble. Okay, let me do this. Uh, how to have a white board? Give me a second. Let me just make a white board so that later you all can uh, see. Uh. Okay. Okay. So good. Thanks for uh, co your comments. I appreciate. It. Okay, so let's move on to the next one because later part. Okay, so the first candlestick I want to cover is what we call a doji candle. Okay, a doji candle is something like this. Okay, let me just draw over here so that it's clearer. Okay, a, a doji candlestick, right, is something like that. And... Can I share this? Okay, so doji candlesticks is something like that. Okay, so we have a, a price like that. Okay, a price like that. And this, a price like that means indecision. Okay, indecision. So if the price is going from uh, low to high, that means it's going from below to on top, and the price goes up higher over here, and it reaches a point of resistance. Example, if you look backwards here, okay, if there is another uh, resistance, let's say example over here, there's another resistance. Mm, okay, hang on. Huh? Okay, so for example, there's another resistance over here. Then what happened is the high and low, okay? The high and low becomes the resistance. Okay, let me see whether I can draw this. No, no, draw it, okay. Okay, the high and low here becomes the resistance, uh, becomes the pivot, okay? So if let's say we have a previous resistance over here and then comes into this area here, if you look backwards and there is a previous resistance, then uh, it, it means that there's an indecision over here. Okay, so how do we know that whether the price is going to uh, go down, okay? So we will use the low as a pivot, Let's say, example, we hit a resistance over here, and if the price break below the low over here, 
then that would that's considered a, a a change okay a change going to resistance and then a change moving down this way okay so in general right there's a 50 percent chance okay there's a 50 percent chance that it will go down and then there's also a 50 percent chance that it will go up so once you fit once you see a, a doji candle like that okay it's a 50 50 okay it doesn't mean that when you hit resistance right it's always going to go down okay a lot of times uh, at the point of indecision it can even go up after this okay any question any question no question let me move on okay so let me see whether i can do this okay let's go to the next so any question on uh, doji candle Okay, so application of doji, okay, application of doji will be um, how, how do you uh, trade the doji candle, okay? So, okay, so example, if you were to go into, uh, let's say a moving average, the price go into a moving average over here, okay? And then we have a uh, price as correcting, it's coming down this way and it form a doji okay that means it's a, a a point of indecision okay so at this point your pivot high will be a, a high of the day which is this candle high a pivot low will be the low here okay so in this case let's say example you are using a 2040 cci okay 2040 here and cci then what you can do is your when if your cci is low Okay, your CCI low, and then there is an indecision over here. That means that there's a good chance, okay, if it clears this high over here, that the price will continue to go higher. Okay. Okay, so a question asked, Joe asked, cannot see, huh? One second, huh? Oh, can I see the board? Uh, okay. Okay. Can okay. so if you have the, you have the if you have the M A that is here. Okay, the M A is this twenty forty M A is here, and then we have the. We have the MA that is here. This is the 20 MA and this is the 40 MA. Okay. And if the price CCI drop below 100, and on top of that, on top of that, we have this doji candle happening here. Okay, this doji candle happening here, which is an indecision. Okay. And if it triggers, okay, if it triggers, your chance is actually better. Okay, your chance is actually better that it is going higher. Why, why is that so? Why is it so that it's going higher? Still cannot see, yeah? Oh, okay. Can see, right? Okay, never mind. First day, first day, okay? And if you put a stop loss over here, so the distance between these two points, okay, the distance between these two points will become your stop loss. Do you all follow what I'm saying? Yes? Okay, so what, what it means to me is price want to come down. Price want to come down. And then after it comes down into my MA, okay, after it comes down to my MA, it is telling me, hey, I do not, I maybe I do not want to go down anymore. Okay. Why I don't go down anymore is because maybe the trend is still up. Okay, maybe the price is oversold. I 
do not want to go down anymore. But I, have, I haven't decided to go up yet. Okay, I haven't decided to go up yet. So at this point, then you ask yourself, is, so at which point, where's the pivot? Okay, where is the pivot? Okay, where is the point, right, where it changes this, that means it changes this move down. Say, so, hey, no longer going down. Now I want to start going up, okay? When is the point? The point, let's say, example, is doji, the point is the high of the doji bar, okay? So what's the advantage of having a doji bar is number one, you, you, you really tell you that it's indecision. Number two, if the candle is small, okay, then your stop loss is also small. Yes or no? Okay, your stop loss will also be small. And so it, it adds up, okay, all, all these things add up together. Okay, your trend, your, your moving average, your CCI, your doji candle, all this add up to give you more confidence to swing it up. Okay, this can happen on the daily charts. It can happen on the weekly charts. Okay. Any question? Majority have righteous. Okay, now. Okay, any question? No question. I move on. Okay, give you all 10 seconds. Okay, because there's delay. Any question on Doji? Okay, again, I mentioned that Doji, right? If you see a doji, right, a, a doji here over this part, right, means that price uh, do not know, it, it, it is at that point, uh, it doesn't know whether it's going to go up or go down, okay? So similarly, if it's going down, okay, if let's say after the doji candle, it's going down after the doji candle, that means it's not so good, uh, okay? Make sense? Take note here, this is like how you how you visualize is like that, guys. How you visualize is this is the type. Okay, this is the type. The moving average is the type. This is the wave. Okay, the CCI is the wave. And what's happening in this candle over here? What's happening in this candle over here is this is the this is the this part here, right? What's happening in the candle here? This is the ripple. Okay. So over here, what's happening in this candle over here? Okay. This candle over here, this is the ripple. Understand? So when you're on a trade, swing trade, right? Your type is up. Okay. Your wave is up. Your wave is down because it's oversold and then going oversold, uh, going from high to low, right? So it's high going down and then the ripple turn up. Make sense or not? Okay, Janice asked the next candle after the higher, higher. Yeah, correct. So that's exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. We only at the first candle. Never. What's the difference if we wait for the candle after the, okay. So good question, okay. Why not wait after one, one? Why not wait for after one candle then we trade? Uh? It's, it's simple because this is actually the trigger bar. Okay, this is actually the trigger bar. And um, so let's say, example, we have the doji candle again. We cannot do this. Hang on. Uh. Let's say example, we have the doji candle again, okay? If we wait for one more candle, then the next candle that you buy, then may be too late. Do you follow what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is when you, the high point and the low point here, this pivot, this is the pivot for the candle. It's like a seesaw, okay? So it we go above this part, that means it's going higher. If it goes below this part, then it's going lower. And based on statistics, it's a 50, 50. Okay? So HK, if you do one more candle, it will be too late. Nah. Okay, you are one day late. Nah. Got it? Okay, so when we talk about candlesticks, basically we are talking about this candle, right? This candle, this is actually the, the ripple. Okay, this is actually the ripple. We are studying the ripple. Okay, ripple must be 
studied in context of type and width. What it means, uh, please do not use just one candle like doji and all, then go and buy. This is wrong. Okay, You must study in context of what is the type first, what is the way first, then go into the report. Does it make sense or not? Okay, that's, so doesn't mean that all oh, one hammer, you know, regardless of where is it, right? Uh, you go and buy. I think this is not correct. Okay, so you must study in context of where's the type first, where's the wave first, then go into the ripple. That, that is to say, right, that you cannot just stare at the ripple and say, hey, now ripple look like something ha happening on the ripple. Maybe for the next uh, three hours, you know, the, the tide is going to go up. You cannot, uh, yes or no? So you look at the type first. Is the tide going from high to low? Then look at the wave. Is the wave going from high to low or low to high? Then you look at the ripple. Make sense, huh? If it makes sense, type yes. Okay. Let's let us move on. This is our day one in our twenty-one day challenge, and I think it's like okay. Let's limit this to thirty minutes, Ken. Uh, we don't want it to be too long. Okay, let's let's do it like thirty minutes. If we can't do it. In one session, we will do it in two sessions, okay? Because I don't want to do it too long, okay? So, so yes, so Joe asked, is it in this sequence, tight wave and ripple? Yes, sir. correct or not? If you want to understand, okay, if you want to understand where you are, right? Okay, I, I don't mind spending more time so that you all understand, right? Let's say, example, I draw this. Okay, this is the wave this is the tide and inside here is the ripple okay okay so first one is the tide second one this thing here is the wave and the last one this thing here is the ripple okay so you must understand the context the context first is is the type going up or down is this one this thing here going up or down okay because in where the type is going up or down it the type is going up that they, they may it's possible that the wave is going down yes or no it's like here is wave is going down here wave is going up yes or no okay and similarly well after you understand the wave then you see the ripple okay the ripple is the candlestick here here is it so same thing here, you can go up or down. Got it? Okay, so in swing trade, right, the idea is to look for tight is up, okay? Wave is going down and then turning up. Wave is going down and turning up. And ripple is going up. So ripple going up, so you buy around this point, okay? I think most of the SMT graduates. Okay, Joe, does that answer your question? Well, we only finished one candlestick, okay, which is slow, okay? But never mind, let's look at the next one. Can we move on? Let's not uh, rush, okay? If we cannot do it, we do it part two tomorrow, okay? I think most likely we need to do part two, okay? So let's go to the next slide. Okay, so in, in doji, right, there are a few types of doji. There's a gravestone doji. There's also like, uh, they call uh, dragonfly or whatever. Okay, so the, met, the, the, the name is not important. Okay, the name is not important. More important is, uh, what is it telling you? Okay, now let's go into doji again. Let's go into do doji again. Now let's look at, okay. Let's look at this, change the this one. Okay, so just now we mentioned that the price goes up like that. If the price goes up like that, okay, it goes up this way and form a doji, that's one pattern, okay? It can also be, it goes up like that. And then what happened is this, Okay, so this is called a grave 
stone doji. You don't even know the name. Uh. You can name more important. Okay. So what happened when you have seen a pattern like that? Okay. Again, it's also indecision, but this one has an additional information. Why is the additional information is you see the price when it, this happened, right? Prior to this, before the candle is fully formed, let's say example, this is a day chart. Okay, it's a day chart. So during the day, the price may move from here, go up, and then go, and then after that, it may do this, then eventually it close it down. Do you follow what I'm saying? So the, the the price, right, went all the way up, okay, went all the way up, then later there are some sell down. At the end of the day, it closes at the low. Yes or no? It closes as the low. So when you see something like that, right? What is the additional information besides, uh, besides it being um indecision? Is that is here over here that is selling pressure. Selling pressure. Okay, that means the bulls tried to push it up like that, try to push it up, but eventually the bear press it down again. Okay, the press press it down again, and the conclusion was the bear won. Okay, the bear one man because the close is the conclusion. Do you follow what I'm saying? Okay, the opening start fight. Okay, they do bull and bear fight, bull and bear fight. At the end of the day, who won? Look at the close. If the close is it higher or lower? Okay, who won the game? Okay, in this case, when you see a, a gravestone doji, that means the bear won, the bull lost. Okay, so similarly over here, right? If you can see some kind of uh, pattern, you can see some kind of pattern over here. So let's say example, we have a... Uh, okay, let's say example, we have the MA over here, and then right now the price goes over here, and then we have a gravestone. Oh, okay. Again, let's say example the CCI and this time go high. So what happened? So it's telling you here that is selling pressure. Then where to trigger? Okay, where's the pivot? Okay, the pivot is the low of the candle. Okay, the low of the candle becomes the pivot. Okay, so now go back tight wave and ripple again. This is a tight. Tight is coming down. Wave. Wave is going up, coming down. Ripple, ripple. Now, this this day movement was up, and then eventually it came down. That's a ripple. Got it? So where to fire? Fire is the low of the candle, low of the gravestone doji. Next day, if you go lower, that will be your firing point. Okay. Understand? Is it helpful? Okay, similarly, we have the opposite. Okay, what is the opposite? Okay, they call it dragonfly. Name not important. Ah. Okay, name not important. The name is not important. Most important is you need to understand how, what is the price action. So on the other hand, just beside the gravestone doji, on the other hand, uh, thanks, for, thanks for commenting. It's helpful for me. Uh, HK Tan asks, how about if we see a gravestone at a moving support. Precisely, just now I mentioned this, right? So uh, this um, HK, HK Tan asked, how about if we see a gravestone doji at the bottom of retracement when we're moving average support? Correct, so that is what we want to look at. Okay, on top of that, okay, on top of that, we... Okay, so you are looking at a gravestone doji here okay so you're talking about if price do this right if price do this and then this yes or no hk tan okay so this is not as significant okay this is not as significant because what is it telling you is the price went up okay went up here and then eventually got fought down here. Do you follow what I'm saying? So, so this is oh, still a doji candle. This is still a doji candle, but we prefer the doji candle to be just down that method, which is like going up and then selling down. Okay. 
On the other hand, what kind of doji do you want to see on this side? Okay, what, 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 what kind of doji do you want to see on this side is we want to see something like this, but instead of doing this now, it does this. Okay, it does it does this. Okay. So the price goes down. Okay. We test some kind of support. Okay. Sometimes previously, previous maybe have support over here. Okay. There may be support around here. So we test some kind of support and then price went down. And then eventually the bulls fought back and closed above the high. Not close above that, close at the high. So the candle become like that. Got it? Okay. So again, if you have MAs, if you have things like that, this the trigger will be the next day above the high. Think about it. Okay, think about it. What does it mean when the price close here? Okay, at the price close at the highest point of the day. That means on the whole day, right? The the whole day, right? The most bullish guy bought at that price the most uh yeah the most bullish guy bought at that price over here so next day if there's a continuation that means the bullishness continue okay the bullishness continue what it means is a eh, um, next day after this test of the low next day the bullishness continue that means the chance of it going higher is there does it make sense Okay, if it makes sense, type yes. And it's 30 minutes so fast. Okay. Any question? Am I too slow? Too slow, huh? But there are people with questions, eh? Okay. I also don't know. Okay. So we will we will we'll move accordingly. Okay. Frankly, you ask me, is there any objective of doing this? I got no no objective. Okay. Uh, if anything, I just want to add value. Okay. Ken, I got nothing to sell. Most of you are graduates, actually. Okay. Okay. But let me just talk about this. Some of you are not graduates. Tomorrow I have a web class. Okay, for okay, if you're you are a graduate, I think majority of you are graduate. Okay, can you do me this favor? Can you type? I, can you all see the comment? I don't know whether you can see the comment. If you can see the comment, can you all type yes? At least you they know that hey, these are graduate who who may have attended my course ten years ago, five years ago. Okay, if you are a graduate, can you type yes, please? Okay, for those people who are not okay. And want to uh, become part of our community uh, you can go to this website tomorrow I have a web class okay tomorrow I have a web class and this web class I will talk about three things okay I'll talk about three things first thing I want to talk about tomorrow for graduate no need to attend okay but some of y'all still like to attend class okay I want to talk about three things tomorrow okay during uh, you go to this website okay our three things I'll collect number one um, I want to share with y'all why uh, I want to share with you why, number one, right, is why most people lose money, okay? So they always buy the wrong stock, okay? They don't know the what, okay? They don't know the what to buy. They always think of buy low, sell high, buy low, sell high. That's the correct, correct answer. In reality, it's not, okay? So if it's not, then what is the answer, okay? Uh, so in, in the web class tomorrow, 7 o'clock, I will talk about what, why most people lose money, okay? Uh, the first thing is what what to buy okay you need to focus on that okay second one is when okay so after you know hey this is the stock to buy uh when to get in okay when to get in a lot of them focus on methods strategy and things like that uh i think that is not as important uh there are other things that you need to be important okay are uh, more important than that okay there are a lot of graduates okay uh good thanks for commenting yes um Tokim is graduate, right? Okay. So, uh, but those that are not tomorrow, go to this website. You can, uh, we have like four, three, four hundred people registered. Okay. It's crazy. Okay. But it's, it's the beautiful thing about online, right? Is, is 
no limit, right? You can keep doing it, okay? So then the last one is uh, how much, okay? How, how much, okay? How to manage your risk, how to manage your risk because a lot of people think that uh, the more risk you take means the more reward, that, which is definitely not true, okay? Which is definitely not true. So uh, tomorrow it will be at 7 p.m., okay? It's at 7 p.m., go to this website, okay? Uh, it's a Zoom call tomorrow. It's, it's not a Facebook Live tomorrow. It's a Zoom call. So you need to register and install your Zoom, okay? The last one is the how much to buy, okay? It's the how much to buy, okay? So go to this website if you want to find out more tomorrow, okay? Uh, Joe asked, is, uh, it's the same time to each day. Let's make it the same time, 5 o'clock, okay? Let's make it the same time, 5 o'clock. If there is something urgent or if I cannot make it, I'll let you all know, okay? But every day, same time, 5 o'clock. I think Friday, Saturday, let's take a break, uh, okay? Let's take a break, Friday, Saturday, uh, sorry. Saturday, Sunday, let's take a break. So Monday to Friday, Monday to Friday, we will finish this in two weeks plus, you know, four weeks. Yeah, about four weeks. One month, uh, okay, then one month, okay? If you have any things you want to cover, okay, you can comment below, okay, then I can uh, look at what other things to cover, okay? I think in 21 days, if we give half an hour every day for 21 days, I think you will level up in your education. Uh. Yes or no? Oh, for graduates, I hope it's useful for you. For those people who are public, even if you don't attend my course, doesn't matter, okay? But I attend my course, why? Because uh, I want to build this community. I've been doing for the last 12 years. Okay, the, you see there's a lot of comments over there of people existing in the community. Okay, why? Because people lose money. Okay, people go and lose a lot of money in the stock market, buy REITs, uh, buy, buy at the wrong time, and things like that. Then waste, waste money. You know, I must say, learn something and get, uh, and get the knowledge for the rest of your life. Okay, so, okay, so tomorrow, Archer is a really graduate, right? Okay, so tomorrow, uh, same thing, okay? I may need to change some of the things, okay? I it, It's not as fast as I thought it would be, okay? So tomorrow, likelihood is going to be the next part of the training. In fact, if you ask me, uh, tomorrow is more interesting, okay? Because tomorrow we go into, let me share with you, preview uh, tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow, I want to talk about this, okay? Hammer, this is, Engulfing, okay, engulfing pattern, and um, okay, so sorry, yeah. Like you can go to this website, collinsyao.com slash SWP. This is the website, okay. Okay, then we talk about bearish engulfing, bullish engulfing, dark top cover, piercing pattern, morning star, evening star, and then we go into strict setups, okay. I've, ne I've not taught this for many uh, years, okay? Even Bridget don't know this. Yes or no? How to shoot the shortest. Okay, so they are exact setups, okay? They are exact how to get in and out, okay? Uh, Zoom call, I don't think got password. Is there a password? Go to this website. If you cannot, uh, if you cannot um, get it, PM me, can You PM me, then I, I will give you the password. I don't think got password. Okay, so even graduates, you may want to attend this part, okay, because I have never covered this before, okay, it's not in my book, it's not in uh, anything, okay, it's not in my book, it's not in SMT course also, okay, you give one second, let me just check the password, okay, so that um, I can give you the password immediately. What is the password? Hang on, huh? Tomorrow, there are about 400 people that register. 300 plus. Okay? That register, okay? Okay, so uh, if graduates also come and attend because we talk about setups, okay, how to, what is wide range bar, what is narrow range bar, how to put in stop loss, how to put in target, and then how to catch contra, people who, who contra, 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 you can catch them, uh, okay? 
they they do not contra then you catch them okay then uh that's it okay so tomorrow right at seven o'clock is our web class seven o'clock is our web class where i will cover what to buy when to buy and how much to buy this part right is at five o'clock okay this part is at five o'clock okay uh for this this one uh, no need to register okay this one is on facebook live okay whereas for the web class go to this website and uh now they say that is this password okay give me a second yes no tomorrow okay let me just call one huh? Okay, sorry guys. Any question on the, so far we cover on candlesticks. Is there any question? Angeline, tomorrow, tomorrow the SMB, the class, right? Naka email password. Ah, eh, no password. Ah. Oh, tomorrow mail. Okay, okay, okay. So that's the new beating name. Oh, tomorrow. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, thanks. Bye. 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 Okay, there's no password, guys. Okay, go to the SLB register and then tomorrow they will send you all the necessary details. Can for this one, uh, we're gonna cover tomorrow at five o'clock. No need password like it's so long you're on Facebook, you can watch it. Really. Can okay. So any questions over? Joanna, have I answered your question? Oh, so tomorrow there are two, okay? One is the candlesticks one will be at 5 p.m. At 7 p.m. is a more formal class. Okay, 7 p.m. is a more formal class where we talk about what to buy, when to buy, how much to buy, the risks and things like that. Okay, so you, uh, for graduates, uh, no need to come at the 7 o'clock, okay? Graduates, just do the 5 o'clock one, okay? The 7 o'clock one is more for people who uh, have not been, it's not in our community. Got it, Janice? I think you are graduate, is it? Okay. If not, then it's 40, almost 42 minutes. I really appreciate you know, the 158 people who are here. I want to thank you for your time. Uh, I hope tomorrow will be a more interesting one. Okay. Uh, for for you all. Okay. Yes, tomorrow is 5 o'clock Facebook Live. At 5 o'clock, 7 p.m. is a Zoom class. Okay, Zoom class, you must register, okay? Okay, tomorrow will be more interesting, I guarantee you, okay? Because today we are a bit slow, but tomorrow we will talk about strategy and things like that, okay? So if not, then thank you very much, okay? See you tomorrow at 5 p.m.